I think we're just gonna send it, dude. It's gonna be extremely loud, too. It's gonna be freaking loud. Send it. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, you gotta hold this for me. Here we go, guys. First start up with Lucifer in over five months with our new Paxson 2200 setup. We just gotta see what she does. So here we go, first start. You ready? I'm ready. My boys and ladies, of course, welcome back to Derek Brown Productions for another video where today we are taking Blucifer out of the garage for the first time in like six months. And I actually just lowered the car off the jack stands and it feels so freaking weird, man, seeing it like a lot lower because it was like up here. But to see the final product sitting where it should be is just so special right now because it turned out better than I thought. Like this whole setup with the black, the grabber blue, the beautiful Novi head unit that's sitting right in front. And my God, it looks so freaking good. And if you didn't catch Monday's video, stop right here. Go watch Monday's video where we did the first startup. We buttoned up some things and man, it was nerve-wracking that's for sure if you did happen to catch Monday's video and you're here for the first drive let's go ahead and smack that like button guys 1500 likes Blucifer's back you gotta do it for Blucifer man if we can hit 2,000 2,500 Blucifer will know that you love him now that you subscribe to the channel and are helping me get closer to 200,000 subs today's agenda we got to get our first round of data logging done extra clamps uh, some tools and things like that just because we are taking the car out today and the most it's ever done so far was just the startup which was very solid by the way. Very, very happy and super satisfied with how that turned out because there were no weird, no weird nothing. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Blucifer's new heart transplant. I can't get enough of it, man. That boss manifold, it just, boom. I hope I remember how to drive MT82, it's been a minute. We gotta go and give a huge shout out to the channel sponsor today, which is Extreme Online Store. If any of you watching right now have a vehicle that you like to modify, I highly recommend checking out Extreme Online Store because they have so many aftermarket parts in stock for so many different vehicles. Hades here has a ton of their parts. The Corvette has parts from them going on. And the best part about it is you can actually save money by using my promo code. Definitely take advantage of that, guys. I think it's like five or 10% off all orders, as many orders as you'd like. Have a ton of carbon fiber parts parts they have interior parts they have just so much for your vehicle and uh you know they're very cool guys like i've been working with them for a while and i do want to go and end this off with a huge shout out to extreme online store thank you all so much here we go let's get old girl started oh that's the wrong key god it feels weird holding holding this key and let's go Oh, girl starts right on, baby. You haven't heard that in a long time, man. so good man oh damn that's so sick what a freaking sight this is oh my god got some zip tie action going on there for the custom headlights and fogs don't mind that oh wow this is so weird 
This is so weird. It felt good to push in a third pedal. Can't even lie to y'all. Well, let me make sure I got everything I need just in case something were to go wrong. I would bring extra coolant, but I don't know if that's really gonna matter. Actually, let's get, let's get, man, my garage is a mess, dude. I don't even know where shit is anymore. Let's grab a set of these just in case. All right, here we go. Let's get it. First drive in Blucifer. This is about to be insane. Absolutely insane. Does the garage clicker still work though? Haha, <laughs> it does. Let's go, dude. 185 cylinder head temp. So five more degrees. She should kick on and start spinning those big old high powered fans. Um, Damn, I feel like this is all happening so fast. Still a little nervous just cause I gotta drive, but I'm gonna drive there, I'm gonna back it in, all while data logging, and then I'm gonna, um, can you see me? Close these. Drive down the back road, hopefully we'll hit full operating temp. I'm gonna back into our little spot, do an idle log for like three minutes, and then we're gonna do the gradual climbs, the 15, 25, and 3500 RPM. Then we're gonna go drive some more and do some gradual climbs from 3500 to 5K. That's what I'm nervous about, but we gotta get it done and uh, kinda see where old girl's at, but. All right, here goes nothing. Oh boy, here she goes. Oh! Oh my gosh, she's so, so sick! Oh! Do y'all hear this? Oh my God, this is so crazy. Dude, she sounds like a Boeing 747. And she drives so good. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. You don't know how long and how much I've missed this car. And then, oh, my vision is coming to life. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Holy. All right, we're gonna start the data log right here. Ah. Start this data log, start log. Okay, we're at 198 op temp, so that's good. Oh my God, it's so sick. It is so fire, dude. so wild all right so I'm gonna back into this spot right here knock out these gradual climbs we're still logging so we want to make sure we don't drag this out super long all right I'll we'll go windows up for this just because it's extremely loud but here we go 1500 rpm let it idle for a second oh actually we gotta do the idle first so we're gonna let this idle what time is it 1500 here we go Good 25, 35. Whew. God, that's always nerve wracking. I don't know why. So I can actually do one here. So 25 to 5. This thing sounds wicked. Holy shit. Oh man, it feels so different compared to the VMP, which is stating the obvious. But wow, it's gonna be a minute till I get used to that. It just feels so different.
Temps looking freaking good too. Inlet air 50. Eh, it feels good, huh? It's cold out here. It's booze weather right now, baby. We're gonna do another one. I'm not trying to play too much of my luck. So if I get pulled, this might get towed. <laughs> She sounds so good. I can't contain myself right now. It's just, it's a good day so far. It's a good day so far. Just listen to that, dude. Oh my God, I love it. I know you guys just took the ride with me, but that's the first drive, guys. That's the first drive back in Belucifer. My God. Oh. Oh, it's almost back fully. Oh, I can't wait. And as soon as we get that final tune, the green light, this thing gets all put back together. It goes for ceramic coating again. Oh, I'm going to drive the piss off this car, man. I'm going to do so much with it. I can't wait. I cannot wait, but I do want to enjoy it. It's been so long. So freaking long, but... It was so worth it. There's definitely no excuse when it comes to the timeline. You know, sometimes you just get burnt out, bored, and that's kind of what the situation was. Like, I took it apart, and then I was like, okay, you know, it's sending off everything to get painted, not having parts on hand. Um, just kind of lost interest, and I didn't really make it a priority to get it done. But that other day, when I sat in here and I felt the Recaros, and I was just like, all right, I got to get it done. So I just did everything within those last two to three days, finished it all up. And that first drive, like, no smoke, no weird noises, driving great. So worth it, man. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. So I think that's where we're going to wrap it up here. I'm going to get this log over to Brandon. Um, hopefully there's nothing crazy that he sees that's like an issue. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to redo all this stuff again with the E85. Clearly, this car is going to live on E85 unless I travel. So, we got to get the 93 banged out. And E85, man, should be around 700 horsepower. So, that's exactly what I want. And I know a lot of you guys question, well, Derek, the VMP was at 700. Incorrect. The VMP was at 700 on 93. When I slapped that E85 in, that's 750-ish, if not more, on a stock Gen 1 motor. Not a good idea. And I'm not downplaying VMP blowers whatsoever. They're freaking great. They're insane blowers. It's just with now having the 2020 Gen 3, I would like to have a stick shift car with a Sentry blower setup. Don't ask questions. I just like it. That's what I like. It's what I had on Blue 2 Valve. The downshifting, the rev matching with the Sentry, it's unmatched. I don't care what anybody says. So that's why I was like, okay, Sentry car, Blue Super, VMP, 10 speed. So waiting on Justin to see if he's still down to do... Um, you know some VMP parts on the on the gen 3 and if he is then we'll full send it with VMP If not, we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll figure something out, but that's where I'm at with this man That's exactly why I did what I did. I hope you guys can understand it If not tough shit my car my decisions man my decisions But thank you all so much for watching today's video If you would drop a like hit the subscribe button with post notifications. We have Lucifer content coming heavy that was weird. Pause. No home. We might have some Lucifer merch coming as well with the new setup. I got a design made. It's sick. So keep your eye out for that. Go watch Monday's video if you haven't already. We'll be back Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time with an insane news from Ford to me. So you don't want to miss it. Appreciate y'all, man. Much love. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. Peace.